This is potentially the most girly party I've ever seen. Do I get some kind of vibes from another group here or... Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be very, very straight here. We've seen this somewhere else in K-pop. Can you guess where? Okay, that's a bit of a dubstep vibe. I haven't heard that for a very long time in K-pop. Okay, after watching this, I can definitely tell you who is my bias from this group. Hello guys, it's Jun, the K-pop nerd. I'm an artist developer and producer, and this is my show where I review and analyze K-pop music videos. Today we're going to talk about Cherry Bullet's Love So Sweet. If you don't know Cherry Bullet, perhaps you know AOA, right? Well, Cherry Bullet is kind of an attempt of FNC Entertainment, which also debuted AOA many years ago, to continue that kind of trend. Uh, but it didn't exactly work out like that. They're trying new things because K-pop has changed anyway. It's not as sexy as it used to be. So now they're doing a bit more cutie kind of modern things. But yeah, so Church Bullet is trying to get out there. So let's see what they've done this time. So first I'm going to talk a bit about its song and its vibe. <laughs> The introduction is really nice, kind of electronic sounds and some claps, right? Wow, this gives some party vibes, right? Like when you're getting ready for a party or, well, where you are in a party. It's very simple, but very effective, right? There is a little bass playing and also some really nice lead uh, plaque sound, like very thin sound. Very girly, this is very girly, right? Okay, so we got some extra drums there as the song progressed a bit. I like the melodies playing at my ears, it's like caressing my ears a bit, like they have done really great stereo work here. Right, really nice. So here we got the pre-chorus. Okay, that's a bit of a dubstep vibe. I haven't heard that for a very long time in K-pop. I mean, it could be trap, but no, it's kind of dubstep. <laughs> I like this. I love this. No, lady, you cannot sue me. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about you. Okay, that's so cute actually, right? Do I get some kind of vibes from another group here or... Hmm. I really like this kind of scene that is like a trumpet, if you can hear it. It just drops some chords there like... Really nice, the bass is really nice, the drums are really nice, I love this chorus, really, this is really well made K-pop. I really love seeing Cherry Bullet doing this kind of concept, kind of sweet, you know, and energetic. Wow, this is a hook and see, they do this again. Okay, so they're harmonizing this kind of melody like, so this is something you whistle usually. And then probably you write the song like that and boom, it became a K-pop song. And then we enter the second verse, of course, which is probably exactly the same as the first one, but maybe an extra lead detail. I really love this rhythm, I really love it. Already it got into my head. Yeah, more of this trap step here for the pre-chorus and then... Wow, this is really nice. This is really nice. I like it. Let's see what the bridge is about. Okay, yeah. So if you want my honest opinion, this is a bit lazy from the creator of the instrumental. But I guess they got really stuck in the bridge. Like maybe they were pushing them like the company. Like, yeah, we really like this, but just make something and we'll just put it together. So, yeah, when you listen, this kind of bridge like pop, 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 pop means, yeah, I didn't know what else to do. So I just put this stuff there. 
and these extra little scenes just going somewhere like a code progression but that doesn't mean it's not good it's really effective it's really great and then and then we have a really great drop on the hooks it's so girly so nice Sweet. Okay, by the way, make sure you thumbs up this video so YouTube knows to suggest it to other people. And if you really like what you're seeing, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, of course, so you can receive notifications every time I make this. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to practically support me so I can continue to do this, please go check it out. So this is the song, but let's see what the song is actually talking about. I'm going to turn on the subtitles now and we're going to watch a bit again. So, Love So Sweet is the title of the song, of course. What could it mean about, are they in love and uh, they started feeling love is sweet or they were in love and they were looking for love? L let's see. Okay, so her hands are shaking and she feels dizzy. She must be in love, right? Oh, what a nice lyric. I'm craving something sweet. Will you give me your love? Yes, girl, I would give you my love, sure. Okay, so there is a character here. There is somebody else coming in and talking to her like very sweet. Okay, she says 20 decibel. 20 decibel is kind of quiet, right? So when you're whispering to somebody, you're not annoying them. It's very sweet, very nice. Actually, she compares them with the sound that the leaves make in the wind, right? This It's like almost like ASMR. Okay, so again, with quiet voice, whispering in the ear, they were talking about some little secret. Okay, and while all this happening, while this other person is whispering to her ears, she's becoming very, you know, like her heart is pumping really fast. So she says here that although there is this sweet voice around her ears, she still becomes very excited. Although this is all quiet, you know, and sweet and nice, but she becomes excited. And she says, yes, like, keep quiet. I don't want to hear anything else. Maybe I just want to hear this thing. Or maybe she says to this person to just be quiet because I really want to enjoy this moment. Let's see. All right, so here is what's happening. So it said sweeter than candy, right? Like the words are very sweet and then sweeter than chocolate because again, because of the words. But then she says, come closer. Let's make tonight special and let's leave this love, very sweet love, right? So everything is an excuse for coming closer. Now, this is very significant in Korean culture that you kind of always kind of, you cannot be completely open. You need a little excuse to make a move, right? So when you want to talk and you want the other person to hear you, you know, but not be loud, it's a very good excuse to come closer. So again, it's kind of the same story here. It's 20 decibel, whisper into my ear. I can get enough of it. And she says, yeah, please keep this secret between you and me, like to make it something special. And then your voice resounds in my ears, right? Like she can still hear it. It means she, she really likes it that much that even if this person uh, goes away, she still feels the presence. And then we have a repetition in the pre-chorus and of course the chorus. So she says one-sided love makes her feel a bit bittersweet, right? So she really doesn't want to do this kind of thing, like play around and, you know, like somebody without receiving his love back. She says she felt in love without really noticing, right? She's addicted to this person. And this statement, like, tell me what you want and we'll give it to you little by little, means I'm ready to commit to this, right? I'm gonna do my best for this.
So this is pretty much the song, uh, the story of the song. You see, this is not a music video that has this kind of story like which we have to talk about, like visual story. It's just the girls like uh, trying to express their love. Now that we talked about the music and the lyrics and what the song is about, let's talk about this amazing visual art. This is potentially the most girly party I've ever seen. So the music video starts in this theme that is probably after the so this the music video starts in this theme that is probably after the party we see everything really messed up like they really had a good time and actually this really looks like a candy store right like a place that sells these sweets um which really fits the song obviously and see how this is really nice like how the camera comes out of the room and boom they're here so this means they probably use some green screen here to insert the previous shot in there the song starts with yuji here wearing a really nice and pretty kind of pink dress right wow this choreography is really nice really sweet Then there is Jiwon saying her lines and she allows us to see the rest of this room and actually we're going into another room. That's really great. This time is Bora saying her lyric and then we're going to... Remy, right? This is Remy. Okay, after watching this, I can definitely tell you who is my bias from this group. This is Cherin, right? Like she's wearing this nice dress here. They keep changing clothes, like if you go back. Like, so for each of these sets, they actually wearing different clothes. Really nice. I really like this kind of skirts here, the leather skirts here. Like this is good fashion, good stuff. Wow, look how big difference this bang made on the previous. So this is actually made here. Which is the same girl as this girl, right? I mean, yeah, she's really pretty, of course, but it's a very different appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna be very, very straight here. We've seen this somewhere else in K-pop. Can you guess where? Oh, well, this is what I would call TWICE style. Not because TWICE invented it or did it first, but because they made it popular. What I, what I mean by TWICE style, I mean this specific kind of symmetrical moves in choreography and then the camera movements. They're very specific. It's a very specific style. Follow with me. You see these zoom-ins and zoom-outs, most of them are digital actually, they're not really zooming with the lens. It's just filming a very high resolution and then they zoom in like digitally as they like. And these zoom movements, they actually follow the dance. This is very characteristic of TWICE. Nothing in K-pop is copying. Nobody copies anybody. They all benchmark each other. And that's great because they progress together. And that's how K-pop producers see this. They don't have any problem with somebody, you know, trying what they're trying. You know, it's totally fine. So Terry Bullet now is doing this style. We call it twice style, but maybe twice are calling it something else style. So it doesn't really matter. Now let's go back a bit to the sets, like, and pay a bit of attention. So as we say here, this is a candy store. This is look like a little of a party place, uh, to be honest, but I, I can still see all this sweet. I can see all these neon signs on the walls and this uh, big teddy bear. Actually, this teddy bear was here, right, where they are sleeping. Oh, is this May? One of the neon signs says night rather than day. That's very interesting. So these are the party girls, right? <laughs> So this set is like more like a living room, like a fancy living room. I don't think it has any significance to the story. It's just a very pretty place, very girly place, if you pay attention to the, all these props around. And finally, we arrive to the party room, this candy store from the beginning. Here the door is closed and the lighting suggests this is like a daytime, so it's after the party. And here is during the party, right? So this is the big party here. 
happening right now. So you see, of course, how all of these are custom made props, right? Like the art team had to make this specifically for this music video. And then the chorus, we actually see this room, but the lighting is a bit different and they move things a bit around, but it's definitely the second room. It has the same, you know, signs here. And of course, they're wearing the same clothes as there. I really love the, some of these clothes, like, yeah, this leather skirt, this skirt here too, like, it's, it's really nice. And this top, absolutely nice. So up to this point, we pretty much have three sets and they just change, you know, the lighting a bit to create different atmospheres, but they're wearing the same clothes in each set. This is really effective and really great filming. I also wanted to say that this is not filmed with a crane. This is filmed with a gimbal, right? Like probably a Ronin or something like that. They're probably using the Ari Alexa camera and somebody, you know, is physically holding the gimbal with a camera and just moving backwards or, you know, forwards, depending on the move. And here we see what is called a dolly zoom as the perspective changes. They didn't really do it at that time, but they actually moved like with the gimbal, right? And then on the post-production, in the editing, they zoomed in and created that effect. So in the second verse, we're actually getting out of the house. Another great outfit. I really love, I, I really love these colors. You know that they, they're, they're a bit 70s, aren't they? You got here the bell pants, of course, and but yeah, the, you know, these materials here and these patterns are definitely 70s, very so strong 70s, maybe 60s too. Okay, we're back in the room, but with different clothes this time. You see how the color theme of the clothes changes a lot? Like here, we're a bit black and pink generally. They go very well together, as we know from black pink. But here we're into this green blue, right? That they also wear here, of course. Oh, what happened to this guy? He looks super sad. Come on. Wow, really, I really like this part of the choreography here. Really cute and really sexy at the same time. And this is really nice. I, I really love May with the bangs. Please keep the bangs. Like when, I don't know, just keep the bangs for now. It's really great. And we see here, they, they keep going in and out. Wow, amazing effect. Going through all the roof. And then boom, exploding in the party. Ultra slow motion here, probably 120 uh, frames per second. Really great. This is really great, guys. And at the end of the music video, we finish as we started. And this is really a sign that this is kind of a loop, right? Like this is a life of partying and then waking up and doing the same thing again and partying again. And yeah, what a dream. So yeah, it's really great. So what I think about this, I think the girls are really sweet, really cute, really attractive. So I think FNC has done a great job with this. Do you think that it's the kind of songs that are going to go viral? Not very sure about that because it has a little soft hook and chorus. I mean, it's really nice to listen to when you're studying, but is it something you get really excited about? I'm not sure. But I think a group has to do many of these songs in order to eventually, you know, get laggy with the release, go viral, and, you know, keep looking for the character and trying different things. This is, I think, this is really great. High production value. And I really love the girls, of course. Sweet. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please hit the thumbs up button and please leave your comment below about what you think about this song. I really want to know your feedback. You can also let me know, of course, any other song you want me to review. This is the K-Pop Nerd. See you next time.